The Pro Bell is a rotary atomizer that's used in automated finishing processes. Today, we're going to review three areas of operations of the Pro Bell. The first is air and fluid flow through the applicator. The second is the actual operation of spraying, cup washing, and purging. And the third is the operation of the electrostatics. Let's start with the air and fluid flow. There's three fluid lines that are connected to the Pro Bell. There's the fluid supply, the solvent supply, and the dump line. There are also nine airline connections for various functions such as triggering valves, bearing air, and shaping air. We'll identify all of these airline connections as we break the Pro Bell down a little bit further. There's also a low voltage cable that's supplying low voltage to the power supply. And there's also a magnetic pickup monitoring the speed or the rotational speed of the turbine. So the first air supply I want to review is the air bearing supply. This air supply should be set between 70 and 100 PSI and should be on all the time to keep the bearing in a floating condition. The turbine is a matched fit to the air bearing, so there's a dimensional tolerance that will require a clean, dry air supply. See the manual for the specific requirements. The bearing air has a return line that provides a pneumatic signal back to the controller pressure switch so the controller has verification that the air supply to the air bearing is active and ready for operation. The next air supply is for the inner shaping air. This flow captures and propels the paint towards the part being painted. The next air supply is the outer shaping air. And this air flow assists in bringing the pattern together to, find, to help define the pattern shape and improve the transfer efficiency. Dual shaping air provides a higher degree of pattern control, pattern adjustability, and makes it easier to paint into small spaces and corners. Turbine air is used to drive the turbine at a rotational speed ranging from 10,000 to 60,000 RPMs. A V to P is used to adjust this airflow to the turbine to maintain the program speed. Brake air is used to reduce the speed of the turbine for fast speed changes. The magnetic pickup sensor we discussed earlier is monitoring the rotation of the turbine and providing feedback to the controller by fiber optics. During painting operations, an air signal will go to the paint valve and the paint valve becomes active. The paint will travel through the top side of the dump valve, travel through the paint valve, and then continue on out to the bell cup. The rotation of the bell cup, with the assistance of the inner and outer shaping air, then creates atomization. For a cup wash, the paint valve is going to be shut off, and we're going to send an air signal to the solvent valve. When the solvent valve is triggered, we're going to send solvent to both the inside of the cup as well as the outside of the cup. The bell cup is still rotating to assist in the wash. For the paint line purge, the paint and solvent valves will be shut off and an air signal will trigger the dump valve to go active. Solvent from a feed source such as a color change valve or proportioner's purge sequence flushes the ProBell's fluid line. Once the fluid line is clean, then the paint valve can be triggered to flush the bell cup. Air from an outside source, such as a color change valve again, can be introduced to remove the solvent from the gun in preparation for service. If service is not required, solvent can be left in the system. Now we're gonna review the electrostatics operation of the ProBell. When loading the ProBell with paint, the electrostatics must be off. Once paint is loaded out to the bell cup, the electrostatics can be turned on. The controller is going to send a signal to the Pro Bell's internal power supply through a low voltage cable. The power supply then amplifies the signal up to 100 kV or 100 kilovolts. The high voltage is sent to the turbine, the air cap, and the bell cup. When the electrostatics are turned off, 
The high voltage power will be bled back through the power supply's internal resistor. Okay, that completes our overview on the ProBell Rotary Atomizer. For more information on this product, visit us at www.graco.com or contact your local distributor.